one of the top foodie capitals in the U.S. Check out our favorite top five spots. Hello, welcome to Hunan Cubs. All right, so if you haven't figured it out, I love Chinese food. <laughs> well, they haven't figured it out because we haven't done a real Chinese yeah, restaurant from where really. we went to yet. Well, that's like my two go-to meal. Yes. Chinese food. And that doesn't feel like cooking, order Chinese food. Absolutely. There's a Chinese restaurant across the street, let's go. Yes. But it's really hard to find good Chinese food. It really is. We've tried it all over and yeah. I mean we're, we're partial to our, our Maryland and, and then also New York Chinese food. New York is the best. I don't know. Maryland yeah. kind of... Florida is it's shaky. We couldn't really find a whole bunch of good restaurants in Florida. Yeah. But so far since we've left Florida, this really hasn't been any good Chinese restaurants. No, we haven't found any. So we're in San Francisco. Allegedly the best Chinatown in the country. Only with New York as a close second. Absolutely. We're gonna are. check it out. Yep, so we are at Hunan Home Restaurant. Um, we came here from Yelp. They've got uh, over 2,000 reviews, four out of five stars. So this is on Jackson Street. Do you know the address? Uh, it's 200 Jackson Street, but I'll double check and put it in the. We'll put a link. Right. 200 Jackson Street. Yeah. So what are we gonna get? All right. So we're going to get the fried rice, um, the combination fried rice. Let's see if they can take the pork out because TR doesn't eat pork, so just beef and chicken. Then they don't have dim sum here, but the lady did tell me that they have a, a small order of dumplings, which is the shaolong pao. So we're going to try that, which is um, actually, I did, right? So it's actually, um, it's a dumpling with, um, hold that thought. <laughs> Stuffed with ground pork, chicken broth, and peanut butter, which is strange. Peanut butter? But it's gotta be good. We're gonna try it. Yeah. So, and then we're gonna get the uh, Mongolian beef. Yes, and Dimitri's gonna get the vegetarian romaine, and that's it. That's and it. we got some egg roll. Alright. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef, right? You said that? Okay. Yeah. And that's what All right. we're gonna try. So, we're gonna order, and in the meantime, Check out the B-roll. Combination fried rice without the pork. Mongolian beef. This is the Kao Long Pao. I, I, I said it right the first time. I don't know how to say it anymore. But this is really good. It's delicious. It what is you think? delicious. Really you good? Tell they're, they're homemade. It's just fresh. Very, very good. A lot of um, flavor to them. Very flavorful. That's good too. Thank you. 
So apparently in California, there's no duck sauce. Who knew? Stick a fork into me. Y'all been talking about my belly, and this is why. <laughs> Nobody's been talking about it, they just been thinking it. <laughs> it was not only filling, <sighs> yeah, it's delicious. It was so what'd you think? Was it worth it? Oh, it was so worth it. Best, I, best I, Chinese food in, in San, California? Yes, best Chinese food on the West yeah. Coast, for sure. Definitely best Chinese food that we've had since we've been in the West Coast. Yeah. On the West Coast. All right, guys, so if you're up in the area, make sure you check out Hunan House, San Francisco. You won't be disappointed. Thumbs up. Fortune cookie time. Woo! Hey. So how true will it be? Let's see, let's see. All right. Wow. Fortune cookie time. Travel is in your future. Wow. What's the number? We got a 4, a 43, a 3, a 32, 37, and 6. No 17? No, but lots I'm of sure 40. Those are my numbers. 6 is definitely my numbers. I'm not, I'm not 43. I'm not saying how old I am. Right. Oh, Study and prepare yourself, and one day, your day will come. I like yours better. Oh, now, a little fun fact for those that don't know. Fortune cookies were not made in China. They were not created in China. In fact, they were created right here in San Francisco. So we're going to go check out um, one of the only fortune cookie factories left. We make over 20,000 fortune cookies a day. So we're going to go see if we can do a tour. Not sure if they're still open or not, but we're going to go check it out. How crazy is that fortune? I'm just lucky like that. So I had to say one of the things that I saw in the restaurant that really impressed me is that all over they have um, awards for best Chinese food in town, uh, best Chinese food in San Francisco, all kinds of TripAdvisor awards, um, different magazines, which is really impressive. All right, guys, so another cool place to visit while you're in San Francisco is Fisherman's Wharf. Yes, and it is the mecca for foodies, for seafood. Yeah. So, of course, you have your traditional restaurants like your Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out Burger, but if you're this close to the water and San Francisco, in the middle of that mecca of seafood, why not? Exactly, exactly. So, you can walk to the seafood market and almost every place has things set up um, to get fresh seafood, fried, steamed, grilled, whatever you want. But we decided on... The Chowder Hut, yes. right? The Chowder Hut is actually located right smack dab in the middle of Fisherman's Wharf, so you yes. can't miss it. Yes, and the plus for them is that they have table seating, which a lot of the places just have the stands on the sides to where you can just go up and order your food. But then you gotta walk around, and you know us, we love to enjoy our food while we're eating it. So, we got a table, and we are waiting on our order. All right, but do be careful, because half of it is table seating, but the other half is seat yourself. Right. So just be careful when you're sitting down. Right. All right, so we've already placed our order. I can't wait to get some of this delicious seafood. I'm excited. Yes. We ordered um, a few things to, to try. We've got... Because yeah. we gotta save room for our next food destination. Yes, you know we gotta get our foodie on and 
we've got um, instead of the chowder, the clam chowder traditional, we got the crab chowder and a sourdough bread, fresh sourdough bread. And then so of course, got, so when you're in San Francisco, you gotta eat sourdough bread, right? Exactly, exactly. And then on top of that, we got some steamed uh, peel and shrimp, peel and shrimp, and some garlic fries, which we heard really great reviews about. So we are just waiting to check that out. And All right. In the meantime. You know what to do. Check out Check the B roll. another store and we saw all these people in the window eating this food that just looked delicious. Right. And I've always wanted to try like Korean barbecue yes. and Korean food. Yes. Just never really had the opportunity. Yes. And this is the Ar Ar Araya, Aria Korean tapas. Oh, it looks delicious. So being tapas, I can give me a little bit of everything. Yes. And it's just a little hole in the wall, but I mean, the food looks delicious. So what did we get? We got, um, okay, so I'm gonna read off of it because, you know, I forget. Ooh, I'm about to get ran over. What? All right, so we got the gangjong fried chicken, 10 piece. And then we got the sweet and spicy pork stir fry ramen. It looks good, doesn't it? It does look really good. Really good. So we're just. Wish us luck. Yes. Check out this B roll. Oh, that's kind of like what they have over there. Yeah, the red, the red noodle bread. So it's a small little spot, but look how many people are standing outside waiting. So it's gotta be good. This guy took an Uber just to get here. 